Hello and welcome to another episode of The Journey So Far. I'm um, very grateful to be joined today by James Peden, who is an original musician and music teaching business owner. Thanks for being here, James. Hey, thanks for having me on. Um, yeah, thanks so much for coming on and sharing a little bit about your journey uh, as part of the Confident Musician program and uh, yeah, sharing with people out there who might be interested in joining up or getting some support with their careers and sharing about what was kind of like when you first started and and what it's been like working with me and and some of the cool things that you've learned so far. So just to kick off today, sure. um, what was what was happening before you met me? Well, I've been running my music school in Melbourne for probably five years, and it's been more, say, like a hobby business on the side of me teaching at schools during the day. And basically, I felt before I came and saw you that I just was not putting the time and energy into my own business that I was running uh, at my studio. Yep. And so I felt that I wanted to kind of flip my focus instead of I was focusing on what was comfortable, working at the schools during the day for, for other companies, not myself. Mm. And, you know, I was doing that for so many years, but, you know, I just felt like I wasn't being able to put the energy and time into what I was doing. And so it wasn't growing. I was always hitting maybe 10 to 15 students um, the most. And I was always going to myself, how come I can never get past this amount of students? Yeah. <laughs> and since me doing my sessions with you, I've pretty much quadrupled my, my students. Yeah, right. At my right. studio... Yeah. Um, also at this, I had one school that pretty much doubled in students. Then I also got myself another new school with a whole bunch of new range of clients as well. Yeah. So now I'm actually quitting those jobs that I was working with that weren't, that I was doing. And now I'm putting a lot more energy and focus into what I'm doing. Yeah, that's so cool. Thanks yeah. for sharing that. That's awesome. I, the, I think the last time you said it was doubled. So now quadrupled, that's even... I believe it has because I've yep. got 40 plus students. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. And, and so like, what does that mean to you or what sort of, what changed? Like what were the things that I sort of, that, well, that you learned? I didn't mm -hmm. like, I'm obviously gave you some ideas to test, but what were the things that were actually really helpful to actually help you make those changes from hobbyist into like, now you're really starting to make a difference, uh, making music and helping people. I think what I've learned is I always thought, people spending money for what I do, I felt bad almost. Like yep. like I was thinking, why would I want to charge a whole term of lessons? Because people would be like, oh, I can't afford that. And so what I was doing was I was paying, I was getting my clients to pay per week and almost have a concept where it was like, whatever suits you. And so for me, it was just like I was getting the wrong clients. I was mm. just getting people that were messing me about because they just wanted to do everything when it was right for them. And so that was another reason why I wasn't growing. I just didn't have the right clients. But then when you suggested that I change my rates, changed how I did my payments and all that, yep. majority of my clients now actually want to pay per term. Yep. Yeah. And awesome. I'm like going and I'm like going, oh my gosh, I didn't realise people actually want to fork out this kind of money straight away. Yeah. And now I'm getting quality clients and clients that don't mess me about and, you know, are committed to learning the instrument. Yeah, that's so cool. And some context for, for everyone out there that might be um, learning, uh, watching along is James was invoicing or having everyone pay per lesson instead of uh, for a whole term. So we changed that model up to actually help him value himself and actually say, no, no, I'm worth that so that's yeah really making a difference in the in the quality of the clients which is really cool because then they're actually just doing it and so yeah that's awesome cool yeah, yeah, and so what's what's life like now that these things are actually starting to change and you're starting to have a bit more self worth um, and you're starting to um, have less sort of I guess admin in a sense uh, obviously you've got more students so what's life like now. Life is definitely getting quite busy. Um, <laughs> We've I got a new it. challenge. <laughs> um, I guess I have to try and look after myself. Mm -hmm. I'm actually trying to think of 
I actually have to schedule time for things that I do outside of work mm-hmm. because when you're running your own business and it's at your house, it is so easy just to sit in front of your computer and not go anywhere. Yep. And the whole day and the whole night's gone. Even if you're not teaching, you might be prepping or you might be working on ideas or promoting and marketing and all that kind of stuff. So I've had to almost go, okay, this time of the week I need to go to the gym or I need to not even be in my studio. Like me, I collect toys and build Lego. So that's my way of trying to get away from everything that is music related. Yep. Because when you teach music, make music, perform music, it's just like it's there all the time. Yep. And you just need those avenues to go, I'm going to escape. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. So yeah. The, the, that question is beautifully designed to help people see the, the benefits of actually working with me. And I think you've, we've actually started to realize that now we have a new level of responsibility. So um, yeah, <laughs> I just want to encapsulate that, that we have now achieved our goal and now we have a whole new layer of problems. So just for anyone out there, um, yeah, there's no there's no shortcut, if that makes sense. So now we have a whole new layer of problems. So I'm just going to add that in there just for anyone else who's watching. Like, cool, Brett made my life harder. (laughs) Which is, in essence, is completely true uh, because we just give you new levels of responsibility and accountability to take those next steps in your life. So great job, James. I'm 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 super proud that you've actually put into work and got to work on the the important things uh, and not just trying to do the same thing over and over again. So now what... What, ed- oh, sorry, what, have you got anything else that you'd like to add? Anything else that you've have found um, uniquely useful working with me? I think it's just having someone to bounce ideas off. Yep. And, you know, you, you, you're very fast at responding, which I really love. There's mm-hmm. so many people that I've dealt with in the music industry and you send them a message and, one, they never reply most of the time. I find you actually reply pretty much in the first hour or, or two hours, like even quicker than that. Yep. So I'm someone that likes to get answers quick. Yeah. <laughs> so I love that. Um, and I think by just, you know, if I'm stuck on something and I'm not sure, you know, I'm working on an idea or something with the music business and I'm like, oh, I don't know, I'll just flip a message to Brett and just see what he thinks. Mm. And I think that's been very helpful. Yeah, yeah awesome. And uh, what, what what advice would you give someone that's that's thinking about actually working with someone or someone doesn't even know that they might need help? What advice would you give someone who might need or would find a coach or a mentor useful? I reckon if you're somebody that feels like you're hitting a brick wall and you're just stuck and stagnated with whatever you're doing, if it's with, through your music as a solo artist or you're in a band or you're a music teacher or even just a creative person, and you just feel like you're just not progressing, something's not right. And you've got to come to a place where you go, I just don't have the knowledge. I just don't have the know-how to do it. Yeah, you could Google and search and all that stuff. But I think the best thing is actually to have a person um, to kind of get you out of that blockage. And, you know, I don't know where I would be if, uh, you know, if I didn't, if I didn't step out and get some help. Mm. Yeah, awesome. And I think, yeah, I'm 100% whenever I get stuck now, I'm just like, who has done this that I can just ask for help and, and pay them for their services to actually value, um, you know, value my time and their time and, and, and um, help them along their journey at the same time. So, yeah, I've loved working with you, James. And I was yes. we were talking before we jumped on today and I said, um, I haven't really worked with a lot of music teachers, even though that's a skill set that I have. So I've really enjoyed this whole process. So thanks so much for um, choosing me to be your coach. And uh, I wish you all the best with your next endeavors and thanks so much for coming on. Thank you so much. It's been great.